Hi, it's Jennifer, and I'm so excited you're here because today I have some amazing, super easy, super delicious game day appetizers. I can't think of anything better to do in the middle of February than invite some friends and family over. Whether you watch the game or not, or if you watch the Puppy Bowl, it's always fun to have friends and family over for appetizers. But who wants to go to all the trouble of making everything very difficult from scratch? Not me. I love to make the easiest appetizers and that way when my friends and family come, I'm not stressed at all. I easily take everything out of the oven and put it out on trays and everyone can dig in and enjoy. And the cleanup is extra easy as well. Let's get started and I'll start showing you all these appetizers that you can easily make with just buying Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. For the first recipe, I have a package of Little Smokies. I'm gonna wrap these in the Pillsbury Crescent Rolls and roll them up and they'll be ready to bake in the oven. I've taken the dough out of the package and I'm just gonna go to the end. I'm gonna find the little end where it unravels and lift that up just a little bit so I don't lose track of it. And then I'm just gonna slice a slice right down, go back to that little end and start opening it up till it makes a really long roll. And if it breaks apart at the little perforated line, that's just fine because we only need to make some strips, some nice long strips just like this. And then we're going to take our little smoky sausages and we're going to put this right on there and start rolling right around. Roll it right on up, just like that. And you have a nice little rolled sausage. Now I'll just put this on a tray with parchment paper and continue on making some more. Wrapping it right around, nice little strips, just like that. We'll just keep making one after another, wrapping the dough right around the little sausage. Now remember, these don't have to be perfect because they're gonna bake and puff up. And after all, we are making easy appetizers, so there's no need to fuss. Just roll it right up and these go really super quick. And just leave the end sticking out so we can see that it's a nice little sausage in a bundle. Put it on the parchment paper tray and just keep going until the tray is completely full. And don't worry if the dough happens to break or tear, just patch it right back together. It'll stick right back together, right to itself, and you can keep right on working. Be sure to leave a little bit of space in between the wrapped smokies because when they start to bake, the dough will start to rise and we don't want them to stick together. And don't worry if they don't look extra pretty. That's okay. These are the first thing to go at my house, no matter how nice and neat they are. The next recipe I'm gonna make is for some little taco cups. I've taken the dough and have it in a square. I've put a pan here, this is a muffin pan and I've sprayed the holes where the dough's gonna go. Make sure you have your little perforations stuck together. And then I'm gonna do another one here and then I'll show you just what I'm gonna fill this with. And in this bowl, I have some prepared taco meat. I cooked this already yesterday and let it cool in the refrigerator. And then I have some pre-jarred taco sauce and some cheese. And to this, I'm gonna add some corn and some black beans. I'm gonna mix this all up together. And this is gonna be the filling for our little taco cups. When this is all done, we can top it with anything we want. We can top it with some more cheese, some lettuce, some sour cream, maybe some avocado, little avocado chunks. You can get really creative and put whatever you want on top when these little taco cups come out of the oven and cool down. They're really easy to eat. 
and they're very delicious. Okay, the next delicious thing we're gonna make is, if you see these ingredients, you can recognize exactly what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a little pizza pie. I'm gonna take some sauce and put in the middle. You don't wanna put too much of any one thing because it'll start squishing out the edges and we wanna make sure that we don't have anything overly full. Okay, there we have it. Now I'm gonna add in some pepperoni and be sure to leave a little bit of space all around the edges so that when you put the top on, you'll have a place to attach it together. So there we have the pepperoni and you can fill this with anything you want. You can put olives or onions, anything you like in these little pies. Okay, there we have the cheese. Now it's time to put the top on. I'm going to just lay the top right on over there. You can just seal this together with your fingers or if you want to make it look a little bit more decorative, just take a fork and just go right around the edges and that'll seal it up nicely and keep everything inside. Once you're done with this, we want to just cut a couple little vents right in the top to let any steam out so that way it doesn't explode. There we go. And then we'll just put this right on a tray of parchment paper to bake in the oven. And now for those who love sandwiches at get-togethers. Some more Swiss cheese right there in the triangle. Then I'm gonna put the ham. This is just a regular lunch meat ham. And I'm gonna pull the corners out a little bit to make sure I have some to tuck at the end. Then I'm just gonna roll this right up, just like the crescent roll. Pull the end up, make sure I stick this right up here, stick it together. Then I'm gonna pull the flaps up and fold them right over and tuck it right like that. Now I'll put this seam side down on the parchment lined baking tray. I have my oven preheating to 350. Almost all of these recipes bake at 350 and you just bake them until they're golden brown. Now I have a cheese stick. I have some dough cut out and I'm just gonna roll this dough right over the cheese stick and press down the ends. Make sure you go and close it up so the cheese doesn't leak out when it's baking. Just press that seam right together and close up the ends. Now I'll put this on the parchment lined baking sheet. The last easy recipe we have to make are the little cheese squares. I'm gonna take these little squares of cheese and just completely encase them. I'm gonna wrap them right up in this dough and just press the seams together. And then I'm gonna press the seams at the bottom. So it's a nice little cube of cheese wrapped in dough. and just do all of them the same. I'm gonna put the seam side down so that when it bakes, the seam will be completely closed and the cheese will not come out. These only take minutes to make and they're a special little tasty treat that all of your guests will really enjoy. Bite-sized snacks at gatherings and parties and of course on game day are always easy to eat and fun. Then on the top of each one to let the steam escape, I'm just going to take a knife and dot a little dot right in the top. I'll put these on the parchment lined tray and bake these in the oven at 350 until they're golden brown. Now it's time to get all of these delicious appetizers baking in the oven. After everyone has enjoyed all of the delicious savory treats and snacks, it's time to make something a little sweet. In this sprayed muffin pan, I have a tablespoon of brown sugar in each one. 
I'm going to go through and put in a teaspoon of water right on top of the brown sugar. Then I'm going to take a tablespoon of butter and lay it right in each one of these cups. Next, I'll take a tablespoon of chopped pecans and put right in on top of the butter. I have taken a package of crescent rolls and I slice it into six pieces. Now I'm just going to take these pieces and nestle them right in there right on top of the wonderful delicious toppings. Just press them right on in there. And then we're gonna put these on a baking sheet because they could possibly boil over and we don't want that to happen. We'll get these in the oven and get them baking. And these sticky buns will be done in no time. Now let me show you how everything turned out. We have the taco cups, the mozzarella cheese stick, the ham and Swiss wrap with mustard, the Little Wrap Smokies, the Cheese Bite Balls, and the Pepperoni Pizza Pie. And let's not forget the Pecan Sticky Buns. This was all easy to put together. It took no time at all, and it was actually really fun. I hope you had as much fun making these appetizers as I did. And I know we're gonna have fun eating these as well. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And I would love for you to click the bell button. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well. I really appreciate it. And I'm so grateful and thankful to all of you who have subscribed already. I appreciate it so much. And I very much appreciate all of you. And I'll see you next time.